So in this quick overview, I'm going to give you a taste of what FSOF's intelligent advanced capture platform can do when it comes to processing unstructured content in documents. And we'll really focus on the machine learning capabilities around data extraction. So one of the key differentiators between FSOFT and other document capture companies is our patent on document analytics and analysis. We've applied this to documents to enable machine learning as users interact and process documentation. So how does that work? We look at the document from a holistic perspective. We look at things like proximity of words, where words occur on a page. We look at font face, patterns. We look at the stems and roots of words to analyze their placement on the page. All of this creates an intelligent processing engine that goes way beyond just plain text. So I always like to show a demo to, to give you a feel for how the technology actually works. So let's dive into the product. So what we'll do, I'm going to do a build and run uh, demonstration, and we'll go ahead and build a batch class in Episoft. And so you know, a batch class is just a container for configuration. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and, uh, and copy a pre-existing template just so I don't bore you with all the bits and pieces that we have to do to get things working. And we'll call this AP. What we're going to do is, is process some invoices here. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, a description. I'll go ahead and give it a hot folder. Uh, just so you know, there's a number of ways that we can ingest documents. We can pull them from email and attachments. We've got the ability to pick them up from folders. You can upload right into our web-based interface, and you can scan. And then there's other ways as well through our... Uh, our software development kit you can use uh, mobile as well so I'm going to click OK and we're actually going to create that document type and then we're going to go into some configuration so let's come down here I'm going to open this up and for this particular example we're going to process some invoices so within this interface I'm going to add a document type and we'll call this invoice so within FSOF, you can have multiple document types, and it uses our classification engine to actually process those different types of documents and automatically identify them. In this example, though, we're doing data extraction, so we're just going to have a single doc type called invoice. We'll go ahead and apply that. And to give the system an idea of what it's looking for, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop some sample invoices into the basic learning interface. Now, this is actually, oops, forgot to check the box. This is actually facilitating FSOF's understanding of what an invoice looks like. So if we're scanning big stacks of invoices, it'll be able to split them up and discern different types of invoices. So we'll let it go ahead and learn those files real quick. And then once we do that, we're gonna add an in index field that we want to extract from these particular documents. So let's come in here, we'll go, uh, we'll drill down into the document type, we'll come to index fields, we'll go ahead and add one called the uh, invoice number, piece of key information that just about everybody wants to extract as they're scanning uh, invoices. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, notice I'm not doing any configuration here on how we're going to extract invoice number. We're going to let the end users do the training and the learning of the product. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. And then we'll go to our upload batch screen. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and upload a couple sample invoices. And I'll go ahead and drag those in here. And we'll go ahead. I've selected my... Um, uh, let me go ahead and refresh this just to make sure I have the most recent. We'll go ahead and drag those in. We'll go ahead and start that batch. Okay. Now at this point in time, you'll see that in this batch instant, instance interface, in a minute, Episoft's going to pick up and start processing those invoices. It's going to go ahead and pull them in. It's going to split them, it's going to convert everything to OCR, and then it's going to queue up for the end user the data entry or validation interface.
you can see that now it's running in the background. It's going to go ahead and uh, start processing the pages. Okay, and now it's zipped through and you can see right now it's waiting for us to validate the documents. So let's go ahead and open this batch up. And what you're going to see here is our validation interface. So you can see I've got all the invoices on the left-hand side, and they're all red right now. The reason, reason for that is uh, we don't have any rules on how to extract data. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and we'll start with the first document. I'm going to point and click on the invoice number. So you'll see when I do that, it populates the invoice number field. And then it's going to prompt me uh, to go ahead and machine learn characteristics about where this invoice number sits. Now if you remember that slide I showed, when I click on that, it's looking all around that number that we extracted. It's finding words, it's looking at font type, it's looking at spacing, the region of the page, and it's learning these invoices. So I'll go ahead and validate that one. You see it turns green and it skips to the next one. We'll click on this guy, do the same thing. So you can see really simply it's going through and here's a little bit different one where the invoice is a little bit different. We'll go ahead and learn that one as well. Validate it and then it takes me to the last invoice. Well you can see this one uh, we're never going to find because of the coffee mark so we'll hand type that in. We'll validate it and then we're done with that particular batch. Okay, so let's go back to the upload batch page and just for fun, I'm going to show you, I've got a directory with uh, a ton of invoices. We'll go ahead and grab all of these, drag and drop them in. And these include the ones that we just processed as well as ones that the system has never seen before. So the amazing thing that you're going to see is FSOft is going to take that learned information about the invoice number, where it sits, the pattern, what surrounds it, and it's going to auto extract from these unknown invoices. So let's go ahead and start this batch. And then we'll come back to our instance manager and in a minute you'll see the next one pop up. And FSOF will start to process and use that machine learned information to extract the invoice information. Okay, so the batch is now queued up and ready for us to go into validation. So let's go ahead and open this batch. And let's take a look at uh, what the product actually found for us. So you can see here we've got uh, a couple green ones. These were some that we'd already processed. You can see that uh, it found the invoice number on this one, but it's red because it, it has questions about the OCR quality. We'll go ahead and validate that. And you can see as I go through here, we've been successful on just about every invoice that we have. Obviously, this is the one with the coffee stain, so we'll manually enter that one. You can see that each invoice actually is successfully extracted. So there's a couple things I want to point out here. Let me find the one I'm looking for. So take a look at this one. The invoices that we trained, the invoice number was to the left of the actual, uh, or I'm sorry, to the right of the actual invoice pound. This one's actually below. So that machine learning understood the structure and understood to look all around any occurrence of invoice pound, invoice num, to find that, that number, okay? So this is just a quick example, and if there were some that we missed here, we could train the system again and make it even smarter the next time we process invoices. So this is an ongoing process where you get better and better, the system gets smarter and smarter 
and you get more and more efficient. So this was a quick overview of FSOft machine learning from a data extraction perspective. If you want to learn more, go to FSOft.com and shoot us an email. Thanks.